Women are often worried about their biological clock and worried about having children later in life. And I'm asked the question, does having children later in life increase your risk of breast cancer? Let me share with you that it is. In Western societies, and certainly in the United States, in Europe, and Australia, and New Zealand, where we have some of the highest incidence of breast cancer in the world, and that includes Canada as well, often what we've seen over the past several decades is waiting to have children, and obviously later in life being married. This is very, very common. Women want to have careers. They want to have a life. They want to do things that are meaningful. And they're always thinking in the back of their mind, well, my biologic clock is ticking. But we do know that also ticking is the increased risk for breast cancer. The data is pretty clear that if you have your first uh, birth at age 35 or older, there is a small increased risk of breast cancer. We don't know why. It may be that the cycling of the breast, that the breast goes through a cycling with pregnancy, prior to age 35 has some sort of protective effect. Historically, we've known that women who had their first live birth by age 18 had a lower risk of breast cancer. Again, not a guarantee, but it appears to have a protective effect, and we don't know why. The cells that line the inside of the ductal system are being proliferated each month as you go through your normal cycle, you will remember that just before your menstrual period, your breasts feel heavier and potentially more painful. And so they're getting ready for pregnancy. And if that pregnancy doesn't happen, they go, oh, wow, and go back to where they were. And it may well be that whatever mechanisms are triggered by actually going on to pregnancy are protective in some way. Now, we have more and more women having children with in vitro fertilization and women having children in their early 40s, and some even in their mid-40s. I must share with you candidly that I worry about those women a lot. There is, with in vitro fertilization, there is a great bang, if you will, of hormones that are given in order to stimulate ovulation, or if you're going to have an implant of a fertilized egg to make sure that the uterus doesn't reject it. Many of us in the field are worried about if you've been through IVF several cycles, is that potentially overstimulating the breast and potentially leading to an increased risk of breast cancer? I would say in this subject more to be revealed. But the fact of the matter is that having your firstborn child, age 35 or later, is an increased risk for breast cancer. Be more diligent, screen regularly, and if that is to happen, we'll at least detect it early. breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.